Welcome, January 2018. This is Mrs. Bobby, and we are on lesson one. And this whole module, pretty much, is all going to be based around zero and the integer system, which are positive and negative whole numbers like one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, and negative three, negative four. So we're going to start right off with our horizontal number line. We also have a vertical number line. And what we're going to do is we're going to find zero. So we're going to find roughly the center and we're going to call it zero. All right. Now, when we count by ones, we're going to, going to label this line right up. So negative, positive one, positive two, positive three, four, five, with me so far. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So all numbers to the right of zero are positive. And all numbers to the left of zero are negatives. Positives keep getting larger and negatives keep getting smaller. The bigger the negative, the smaller it is. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about absolute value in here too. And absolute value is how far away from zero a number is. So for instance, this negative five, the absolute value of a negative five would be five because it actually is five jumps away from zero. So that would be the absolute value of negative five. But if we also look at it, the absolute value of a positive five is also five because it is also five steps away from zero. So now we're going to plot a number on this number line. So let's say four. I'm going to plot four. And now we're going to look at what is the opposite of a positive four. So we find zero, which is the center. And we say, what's the opposite of the positive four? Well, that's four jumps away from zero here. So four jumps away from zero here would make our opposite of four a negative four. So opposites. Positive four, negative four. So explaining how we found the opposite of the number on the number line is we can bring in that absolute value talk that we were, we were saying before. The same distance from zero on the number line you will find an opposite and what we mean by that is four jumps to the left Opposite is four jumps to the right. All right. So we kind of did three already. We did one already, which is when we plotted our four. So the same concept goes here. If we put zero on the vertical number line, we know we can treat this as like sea level. Ooh, there's our water. So anything above sea level is above sea level. And anything that falls below sea level would be negative. Does that sound good? Below means negative. Above means positive. I hope this all makes sense. This is Mrs. Bobby and of course, it's 2018, and I love math.